Good morning, it's about 10 past 7 in the morning and we're off to Spain. The coffee is on. I am mostly still all packed from yesterday, I only took a couple of things out for the night. So all I really need to do is have coffee, get washed and dressed. I don't know what we're going to do about breakfast, we'll probably figure that out as we go somehow. We're all packed, suitcase is in the car, my daughter's in the car and I've got my backpack, that's my hand luggage. Camera bag, that's going to go in my hand luggage because I'm only allowed one bit. And uh, that's it, we're off. Let's go! Getting fuel on the way to the airport. YB's just putting some fuel in the car. Well, I didn't film it because that ended up being a bit spontaneous. <laughs> but we just bought two cheese and onion pasties to so just put in the bag. So if we get hungry on the plane, we can eat them later. And he's having a bacon roll. But we're holding out for a Burger King at the airport after we've gone through security. So hopefully we don't get held up and held up because we'll be starving otherwise. Well, he won't be because he's having breakfast. Uh, first, but me and Isabel might be starving. We'll see. We are leaving Wales. Look, going over the Prince of Wales Bridge, as it's called these days. This is Bristol and Airport. We must be coming there. Oh, so excited! Oop, boing. These are rather attractive looking houses, aren't they? Ooh, lovely. Nice brickwork. Yeah, nice brickwork. I was just saying to my boyfriend here, it's like it's the first time I've flown abroad since the pandemic and nothing's routine anymore. And I keep getting these little, have I remembered the passports? Have I remembered the boarding passes? Have I remembered the travel insurance? Like just, I guess I have. I've done it, I've prepared it all. But it's just, it's not routine anymore. It's like doing it for the first time all over again. <sighs> Look at that lovely rock face. Apparently climbers climb here. I missed it, but there was an amazing mural. I've missed the bump from the mist, man. It was so vivid. And ooh, what was that about? <laughs> he just did a big swerve. Um, and it, I don't know if it was a real rope. So he's like, it was like a mural of him climbing that really stood out. It was amazing. I wasn't going to put this in the vlog. This is the Clifton Suspension Bridge, though. I've, every time I've vlogged this route going to Bristol Airport, it's gone in the vlog. But how could I not? Oh, by Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Oh, I like those. Oh, yeah. Now, normally, what happens when we get to this point is the sat nav says you're in the middle of a field. But will it do it this time? I don't know. But you know the way, don't you? So. Yeah, I have it on anyway. <laughs> Reassurance. Just been informed by my other half here that we've got five minutes till we get to the airport tavern where we're going to park the car and we should be on time to get to the airport for 9.50? 9.30. 9.30. Hours. Two hours, 40 minutes we should have before we have to get on the flight. So plenty of time for food and security. We're worried about queues at security, aren't we? Because apparently there's been a lot of staff shortages causing a big hold up, some humongous big queues. So that's why we've left so much extra time today. All be delighted to know that the sat nav behaved today. There's the airport tavern parking, and Bristol Airport is literally it's just there. We had to come up here and turn around to go back, and we literally passed the entrance of it. So I just park here. Yeah, they'll move it, won't they? Can you get out there, girls? I don't know if we can get the cases out, we can get them out the other side. Time to get out. The cases are all. I'll get them. Oh, I can't film them. them. I'm trying to film them behind my shoulder. I can't see what I'm seeing. Yeah. I've forgotten something. I forgot my coat. Oh well. You treat yourself. It is looking very shabby, my coat, yeah, but it's just justifying, you know, the environmental impact of buying new clothes. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> Here's all the bags. IB's just doing the check-in thing. IB's my other half, by the way. We're the only ones in the van at the moment. We're just waiting to see if anybody else is coming on. And I don't know when we're going, but we're in good time anyway. So. I reckon, because the car park's not that full and the bus is neither, that there's not going to be a lot of traffic in there. Yeah, maybe. It's Easter Sunday today. We've got Easter eggs in the bag, well, little mini ones. Mm -hmm. To eat on the plane. A little shot of the van before anybody else gets in. Might as well take my mask back off since it's only us in here. Ooh. <laughs> and 
nearly left my phone on here one time and the, the guy called after me. Idiot, check. No, all fine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. These are easier on the four wheels, actually. Or are they? Don't know. No, I'm going to pull it. Not sure if we need a mask, but I've got one on. Just going in now to departures. I'm going to go and drop the bags off. We're waiting in check-in now for Ryanair. It's a huge, massive big queue. I'm not filming. We love this banana slippery floor sign. We've been waiting for ages in this queue and apparently it's not even opening for another half an hour. Oh man, so we came here really early to avoid queues and it's caused us to be in a queue. <laughs> done, we've put the bags in and done all that stuff and we're heading to security now, so camera off time. We've done it, we've got through security and it was quite easy. Going up there. We're going up the stairs, heading to Burger King for some breakfast. Look how quiet it is in here. Easter Sunday is obviously the day to travel. We are entering Burger King. And look how empty it is in here as well. Oh my goodness. There are about three couples eating and that's all. I'm about to tuck into my plant-based Whopper and I've got some fries, but I think the others might have to help me with that one. <laughs> and I've uh, been checking up the mask rules in Spain. I literally left it to the last minute because they keep changing, don't they? It's a bit stricter than here, basically. I mean, I haven't eaten meat since I was a child. Much, a little babble. But um, I can't believe this is not me. How would you know if you haven't eaten it since you were a child? Well, that's why I'm just saying, because maybe if I had eaten meat, I would think so. So, my daughter's sitting here, she's learning Korean on Duolingo for fun. She's been doing it for ages. And my other half has got his laptop out and he's doing some work. And I'm wondering what to do. I'm still eating it. I can't finish the burger, it's too much. These are refillable, apparently. My daughter and I are going to go for a little walk around the airport while IB works. Never seen this shop before. Ooh. Oh, they've got little iPad-y things. I was wondering how much these adapters would cost at the airport. That's a Japan one. Oh, is that what they look like? Never seen one of those before. That's $6.49 anyway. We have enough as it is. America. Look at the American ones. Oh, is that what an American plug socket looks like? Oh, it's really diddy, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose ours looks super chunky. What's that one? Australia and China. Ah, oh, what's that one? Well, that's Japan again interesting my daughter has got waylaid she found a word search and was drawn in apparently you have to find the word and then it disappears and it lumps down i presume if it gets to the top then you lose oh 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 and you can go around corners oh that's quite fun <laughs> they have a huge selection of leads but uh, i don't think i want to pay these prices for them really there is a cable i want and that is i want something to plug into my lightning connection on my iphone that i can plug my wired headphones into because i'm finding the bluetooth one stuck sometimes one of them doesn't work and i don't know why and i can't get it to work and then it randomly starts working by itself i would like one but i'll wait i found it actually 11.99 they have them here but i've got one in my basket on amazon anyway i'm just wait and spend 20 quid before I hit purchase. Meanwhile, <laughs> she's still going. Our flight is in an hour actually, so we'd probably better not be too much longer in case we need to head to the gate. They've got a super drug and a Claire's. JD, accessorize. Oh, there's a Starbucks there. Because he's looking at the earrings. Three for 12 pound. Watermelon purse, anyone? Not on my to-do list for 
Oh, sorry about the frame rate flashing. Our flight is delayed by half an hour or so. It's not disastrous. 12.45, it was 12.10. Doesn't say anything about a gate yet, does it? Gate in for 11.55 and it's 11.13 now. We're in the duty-free section now. Izzy wanted to come and have a look. We were marvelling at the prices of some of the watches. Izzy's found some very dramatic looking rings, haven't you? Especially that one. 15 pound though, aren't they? Cool, they're very extra. Is that what you would say in modern parlance, darling? Yeah, yeah. there's UK stuff. Look, there's a, a UK policeman, a rubber ducky. We've been roaming around duty free for ages and now we're in Claire's and this is so soft. Oh. Back in Burger King, it's crowded in here now. Almost every table is taken up and the queue goes right out of here and right across the hall, well, I don't know if you call it a hall, but you know, a bit of space before Burger King. Anyway, we've got a top up of coke, because why not? Mm -hmm. I think we got, what, 20 minutes or so before we're going to get a gate announcement. This bit here has plug sockets, as you can see, which are just accessible. There's a USB as well as a three pin. Well, here's your 1214 update. <laughs> We're still waiting for gate info, so it's really delayed. I checked on the travel transfer, you know, the bus at the other end, sort of stuff like what to do if it's delayed and there was an emergency number to ring. So I rang them up and spoke to a lady, I presume in Spain, told them and the conclusion was after she put all my reference number in and everything, there'll be somebody waiting. So <laughs> just have to go and look for the man with the yellow t-shirt and the brand name of the company. And uh, yeah, they go every hour, I think. So we might be waiting up to an hour. We have a gate number and it's 26, so we're going straight on. That way. I can see a Ryanair plane. I wonder if that's ours. I've got to squash my that bag into this bag and then condense it all down before getting on the plane. Here we are, look. I have now tightened my bag strap so much that it will definitely fit cabin dimensions and we're in a very long queue and everybody's all getting up at once. Look, they've got the bags coming off of the flight before as people are getting on it and there's our bags all ready to go on. Hey, we've got out. We're heading across and we've got to get on on the front door. Some of those staircase things, eh? There's our bags over there, look. We still haven't gone on. I hope they don't forget and take off without them. That would be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? I always think that little white icon in the middle looks like a base cleft. That lady over there seems to be taking the rubbish out. Starting to move up. We've been standing still for quite a while, but we seem to be going in now. That emblem on there that's spinning around is like, it's hypnotic if you stand and watch it for long enough. Standing still again. This is the most skinniest one I've ever been up, actually. They're normally wider than this. This is single file only, this staircase. Well, one of us is here. Well, it fits the dimensions, but it's sticking out. I'm not going any further. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting to get going. We're waiting for the safety demonstration now. I'm not by the window, so I can't film out the window today. Sorry about that. Okay, we're on the runway. Just about to go for it. That's for rockets rather than planes, but you know what I mean. It's making a funny noise, isn't it? You can see all the little houses. 
else is down there. Anyway, look, I'm going to end this vlog here and I'm going to pick up the next one from this point. So thank you so much for watching. Do put a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!